done today is replacing this pressure switch. The reason why I'm replacing it is because it would try to get up to the to the set pressure that I have it at. <clears throat> and what it would end up doing is it would actually cut off before then. And I would have to keep this at a, like a perfect position just for it to stay on. So we'll go ahead and um, breaking this down. I've already took out the wires just so we can speed this video up here. I'll show you how to put them back on. But uh, it's real simple. We're gonna take off this uh, release valve. We're gonna take off, see I already gonna start to screw everything out. The, um, the gauge, we're gonna unscrew it from here. We're gonna take off this, I forgot the name of it, and we're gonna remove it. So let's go ahead and uh, show that right now. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing is removing the relief valve and then also this gauge over here on the side. Okay, so the way I did, I'm already gonna loosen everything up again to uh, speed it up. And what I did with this was, since it's already in stationary position here, I just take this and I just use this wrench and just take it off. So that takes care of that. And we're gonna just place this on the side here. You see it has the, um, a little tape so we're gonna put that back on and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off this gauge same thing with the gauge I just use a, uh, a wrench put it in here and just remove I try to do this while this is pretty much stationary so it won't be that hard all right okay and that's the gauge off next thing we're gonna do is <clears throat> we're going to take off this, I think it's a release valve, I'm not sure. Um, let me see, get a good picture of this right here. Let me move to the side. All right, so the way this works is, <clears throat> there's like a little lock on this side here. Let me see if you can see that. It's a little, or a little slot where it goes in at. You see that? All right, so what we do is, we just move this, okay, because it's already locked in. We just move it to that slot, and it comes right out, just like that, all right? So that's that. Now the way this works is, um, let me show you the new one. Stay right there for me. The way, so this is the new one. This is the new one. So this right here, you're gonna see, it actually, It goes in and out, in and out, and that allows for you to do this. It allows for you just to push this down like this and take it off. That's it. So this is off, and now all we need to do is take this off. Now this one, you can try to move this, but it's probably going to come out the actual compressor. So what we're going to do is we're going to. Take these vice grips, go ahead, and, and we're going to take this here. Not too far. And we're just going to unloosen it. So we're holding the vice grip to keep it in place because all we're trying to do is take this off. Boom. So we already got it off. Again, this ain't going to be this easy because I already got pretty much unscrewed everything. So we're just going to unscrew it. All right, we're unscrewing it. It's real time. I don't even know if this is all gonna work. But anyway, uh, the part number for this is um, 034-0184. And that's everything for you that you, let me see if we can, right there, see if you can see that. Cool. All right, so we're gonna replace this and we're gonna put the new one on. Now, the new one, Just double check, we're gonna take this off here. Okay, we're gonna verify the part number just like what we said. Uh, 034-0184. Okay, all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna actually put going right now is I'm just using this Teflon tape and uh, I'm just wrapping up all my edges here. I'm doing that, I'm doing this. I try to take off the old oh, whatever this is. Um, yeah, it's a good idea to clean all this up. Okay. Okay. Right, tough one, I'm taking 
Madness. And this song, this gauge that's on the, um, uh oh. Roll that out the way. This gauge that's on this pressure valve, I don't even actually know. I'm gonna go ahead and just throw that to the side here. Then we're gonna go ahead and put this one, and then we should be able to put everything back on. All right, so at this point we got one, two, three. Oh, they closed this up. They closed this up. So let me get a monkey wrench and take this out and close this up. All right, so what I haven't removed yet is on the back side. They have a plug. Um, I guess you can attach something else to it. I don't have anything to it. But I used a, uh, a quarter. And I went ahead and um, vice, this up, vice it up um, for a minute. And uh, just come straight out. So, we just get that loose. And we take that out. And this is good to go. So let's put some uh, Teflon tape on this. And we'll get back to reinstalling it. So what I'm doing right now is I've already put all the Teflon tape on. I'm just going to reinstall it. I'll move this to the side just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I'm just going to start to twist it on as such. I'm twist it all the way down. Just like this. Make sure that it's nice and tight. I could go one more, but that should do it. Let me see. Hold on. Nah, that's gonna do it. So we're gonna keep it right there. It's nice and tight. Then we're gonna put this uh, same relief valve. I'm gonna put that on right there. Then we're gonna put our gauge. We can clean our gauge up. Like I said, I don't ever use it. All right, we're gonna uh, get that tightened up. Then we're gonna take. Take our little wrench here. And let me see, tighten. We're gonna go ahead and get that to come in. And right, we're gonna tighten this one up. Of course, we're going this way. Tighten this up. Make sure everything's airtight. This is tight. It's really foul. And we'll come back and check for the uh, oh, I don't want to strip nothing. That's all tight. All right. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna take this line right here. Remember what I was talking about it being inside? All we're gonna do is take this line right here. Let's see, if we can bend it just a little bit. It has some flexibility to it, but don't want to get crazy. But we just take this, make sure it's lined up. We take it and we just see how that locks in. And then this little flange comes out, that little piece right there, that little copper piece comes out. And that's it. So everything should be airtight. So now we're just gonna put the wires back on. And I'll show you how to do that, and we should be done with this. And we'll crank it up and see how it so goes. We got everything back installed, all the wires. This is the ground, and don't let me get the line. But these are, I'm not sure. 
Anyway, this is the ground. And just read your specs for this, all right? So what we're gonna do now is just put the cover back on. Um, I still got it the same way hooked up that I had uh, from the box. So, one day I'm gonna come back and redo it, but nevertheless, we're gonna just tie this down and crank it up and we'll see if it obtain pressure and make sure that we don't have any leaks. All right, you know how we do, we do it real time over here, so you can see exactly how it goes down, no edits, and um, hopefully nothing blows up. Uh-oh, that one cool. That one cool. Hmm, what just happened? Do we want to try it again? Hmm. Let's look and see what's going on. All right, just now I went ahead and uh, took this off and make sure I had good connection. Everything was straight. Now, what I did do was wash everything up. I know you can't tell, but I washed everything up. And I think it's just having a hard time starting back up. So we're gonna try it again. And let's see if it can crank up. Mm, okay, so now we try to do is I'm going to try to get the pressure all the way up to about 120. That's where I keep it at. Let's make sure we don't hear any leaks over here too. So far we don't. It's always leaks here. Um, just to start off with, didn't get straight. But anyway, um, let's try it again. That wraps that up. So far, success. You can hear, let me see. There's no leaks here. There's still like a constant leak down here. I just need to replace this little piece right there. That's the one that came stocked on it. I think I remember a few of y'all. Can't remember. Might have been even Greg that went ahead and replaced that right there and even brought it out a little bit farther here. But anyway, that wraps that up. Um, that's how you replace a pressure switch on a uh, Cobalt 60 gallon. Um, you see part number, uh, model number 221565. All right. Thanks for watching and yeah, I don't know when is that going to get done, but this is a good step into it. Later.